Um, are we back in the old age period again? Well... And here it is! The perfect retirement apartment. We sure are. Okay. I think I got it figured out. Hmm? I mean, we haven't just been jumping back and forth randomly, right? There's a pattern to it. With all our other patients, we begin from the most recent point, and gradually traced backwards. And in this case, it did start like that. For the first few memories in his oldest time, everything went just as normal. But then, we somehow got slingshotted. All the way to the earliest accessible memory. So we cleared that, and once again leaped back. To the older times, where we left off. Then, to the earlier ones again, moving forward. And once more, to the older times, moving backwards. These jumps aren't in random order, and nor do they form just any pattern. It's the pattern of a decaying orbit. It's almost as if we're being pulled in, spiraling towards a gravitational center. A gravitational center, huh? Inappropriate context for physics aside, what do you think is causing this? Some oh-so-deep event of melodramatic angst that traumatize our fine gentlemen? I don't know. Maybe it's a memory of that sort, but... Maybe it's something else. Uh, something else? What could be here other than memories? Like I said, I don't know. It's just that we've seen a lot of patients, and there's never been a memory that's done this. Alright. I guess at least this one isn't routine, then. Hmm. We'll see. One bedroom, with balcony, and there's also an attic for storage. How often do you find attics in an apartment, huh? Not to mention the lake view. I thought the lake is on the other side of the building, though. Yeah, but this unit is on the edge. You can see it if you hold out the mirror from the balcony. Here, have a brochure. And this is the kitchen. If you pay attention to the walls, you'll notice that it hasn't even had one fire incident. Of course, if it had, the whole place would have surely burned down, being an apartment and all. I mean, uh, of course! Of course it won't happen, because y'all seem like careful folks, right? I guess what I'm saying is, um... Fire safety is very important. An attic in an apartment. Isn't it amazing? I think this floor is otherwise reserved for heating and utility units for the building. If something in the building explodes, I guess it probably hit pretty close. Okay. I'm trying to feel spooked about the memory leap thing, but this isn't helping.
You said you're a musician, right? This room is perfect for performances. There's very little room for an audience, though, so you'd probably be playing alone. Which is, uh, kinda sad. But I digress. And, as you can see, this is why they call this the Lakeview Residence. I, I mean, you can't literally see because the lake's behind us on the other side, but... If uh, you extend your head off the balcony to the left, you might be able to see a bit of it. Don't, though. You'd fall off. Okay, on we go! So, what do you think? Well, it is nice and quiet. I like it. Me too, but... I would have liked it better if you just didn't talk, Fred. Yeah, that really didn't help. At all. If you weren't my cousin's friend's brother, we would have walked out by now. More like ran out. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not good at sales. So, um... Sorry to be blunt, but... Are, are you gonna take it? Cause that, there's this deposit fee, you see? Which technically I could elope with, but I promise Stop I- Stop talking. We'll take it. Mm-hmm. Huh. Wasn't this just a brochure a moment ago? Eh, I guess you just folded it. What's the issue? Well, if I'm guessing right... Being a memento, it's kinda odd that it came to be without a seeing. Huh. In any case, at least it's convenient. I don't see any other way out of this place. Slinged back again, huh? Yep, your theory still checks out. Okay, let's place bets. What? Bets on what's causing this anomaly, of course. Your guesses versus mine. Oh, get alive. Dibs on first guess, then. Bet you ten bucks it's about a girl. Suddenly romantic, aren't you? Nah, just the fact that with these things, it's always about some girl. Not everything is about some girl, Neil. Besides, I think we've seen enough from his own memories to say that he's happily married and- What you doing up there? Yes, you! 
I see you standing up there like every day. What are you always looking at? There you are. So, got a name? Uh, you do have a name, right? Colin. What? I can't hear you. I said my name is Colin. Huh? You're Colin what? What? No, um, let me just... Hold on, I'll be right back. throw this paper plane over. I wrote stuff on it. So just catch it, okay? I was gonna say just speak louder, but... Okay. Okay, here it goes. Uh, hold on. Kid has no respect for the laws of physics. He's like nine, dude. Hey, it's all right. You need to concentrate, okay? Just keep your eyes on me and throw as hard as you can. If you try hard enough, I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you! Okay, okay. I can do this. Here it goes. Side. Okay, wait, wait, don't go. So, Colin, right? I thought you didn't hear. Yeah, well, I think I've actually seen you on the way to school. What does that have to do with- you go to the one just across the woods from here, right? Yeah? Oh, well, I go to the one just across the street from yours. The private school? Yep, yep. Lucky. Why? Well, because it's all exclusive and costs money and stuff. Oh, hmm. I guess. People are all snobby there, though. They are? Just trying to make you feel better. Hey, let's walk together to school next time. Why? Because I like you, silly. You're just the right amount of dumb. What's that supposed to mean? Besides, have you heard about the bear attacks in the woods? No, I've only seen badgers. What did you hear? Oh, no. 
know. I didn't hear anything either. But that's why I'm suspicious. It's a little too quiet. Anyway, we practically go the same route, right? It'd be good to stick together. I guess so. What was that? Hmm? She just ran back in when they came out. Eh, it's not that uncommon for kids to be scared of the parents. Back when I was young, I knew a kid who had one scary mother. Saw her spanking him with a spatula once. Never ate her brownies after that. kid. On the upside, I wish I had the TV all to myself when I was a kid. You and Rudog. Can't we have a jingle this catchy? One can only dream. Coming up next on Classic Replay, The Godfather. Hold on. I kinda wanna stay and watch this. Why is he practicing in the bathroom? Because the bathroom reverb makes the sound awesome, of course. Sure seem knowledgeable. Back when I played the triangle, I did it all the time. Wow. Not even the fabled bathroom reverb could save that crap. Don't you dare do anything. I'm getting this one. Let me at least take it off the wall for you. No. Just don't. It's not even that high. We don't need to take it down. 